Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the path keyword and how to use the path keyword in the scenarios. So first, let us look at the endpoint URL. So this is our endpoint URL. Every endpoint URL is divided into two parts. The first is the base path. And second is the context path. So in our case, this is the base path and this is the context path. And the context path is different for different endpoint. Let us look at the Swagger documentation of our test application. So as you can see here, this is our base path and, and the context path is different for different endpoint. So whenever you're writing the automation script that is going to send the request to the same application, but the context path are changing based on the endpoints. In that case, you can use the path variable. So let me create a duplicate copy of this scenario. And let me update the short description. So here I'm going to divide the first statement into two parts, the base path and the context path. So we know that till here, it's the base path. Now the context path is an additional condition to this statement. That's why I need to use the end keyword followed by the path. So this is the keyword which is provided by the Karate framework. And then I need to specify the context path, which is this in our case. So during the runtime, the Karate framework is going to combine these two statements and form the complete endpoint URL. So let me go ahead and run it. So in such cases, when you are sending the request to the same application, but the context path is changing, you can use this keyword. Now, as you can see here in our both the scenarios, the given statement is common. So I can move this statement under the background keyword. In my previous videos, as I mentioned, the steps which are defined under the background keyword will get executed for all the scenarios. So I'm going to move this statement under the background keyword. So I'm going to create the background keyword, provide a small description, and I will move this given statement under that. And here you can use the path keyword. Now there are two ways by which you can use the path keyword. So you can either use with the end keyword or you can also use it with the given keyword. And let me run the runner. Now, in order to make sure that the steps which is defined under the background keyword is getting executed for all these scenarios, I'm going to add a print statement. So here I will use the end keyword as it is an additional step to our given statement. And I'm going to use the print function. So this is the function which is provided by the Karate framework. And here you can specify the string which you want to print at the console. This function will behave similar to the system.out.println, which is a commonly used function in Java language. And let me run the runner. Now let us look at the logs. So this is the first time the background keyword is getting executed for the first scenario. And this is the second time background keyword is getting executed for the second scenario. So in this manner, you can use the path keyword. 